Hey girls, so first off, big change. It's looking really, really, really dark in the viewfinder, but I actually dyed my hair. So it's kind of like a light chocolatey brown. The shade I used is called L'Oreal Ice Latte, if anyone's interested. But obviously I went from a dark blonde to this, so I'm not sure how it's going to pick up on camera, but yeah, I just wanted to address that. You probably would notice a change in my hair, so I'm really loving it. It's kind of giving me Georgina Sparks mixed with Blair Waldorf mixed with Alexis Ren vibes, which kind of was my inspiration to be honest. Like, I just wanted something a little bit more dark. Kind of like a nice sultry colour, so yeah, I want just something new. Hopefully you guys like it too, I'm kind of loving it, it's going to take some getting used to though, so yeah, today is going to be my skincare routine, and I have done quite a few updated skincare videos already for different seasons, winter, spring, that sort of thing, evening and morning, because they do differ, and I think I've even done a pampering routine about like face masks and things, so I've done a lot, but I wanted to do a whole video dedicated to clear skin, so it's everything I've kind of done to get my skin clear. If I can find the photos, they should still be on my camera. If I can't locate the photos, I'm sorry, but basically my skin was really, really bad. Um, I literally had like cystic acne like everywhere, literally like 101 Dalmatian style. It was so bad. It was usually just my T-zone and chin area, um, so kind of like hormonal breakouts, but yeah, it was just terrible acne. It didn't even seem like there was a cause to it. Uh, it was just terrible acne, so... Yeah, I will try and get some footage or photos or something, but basically, I do have a full face of makeup today, but just very, very light foundation. So just a little close-up to show you guys, my skin is a lot better. It's not perfect, I still have acne scars, but it's very, very clear. I'm not wearing any concealer, just a BB cream, and also no foundation on my forehead, so it's kind of light makeup, to be honest. Uh, and then obviously I've just done like my eyes and lips and stuff, but yeah, it really really has cleared up You will see videos uh, like where I've done a tutorial that my skin is a lot clearer. It looks really smooth So I'm gonna go through all the products I have. I have about se seven or eight here already And then a few things that you can add into your lifestyle routine So these are all quite basic and things you've probably heard But I'm gonna really reiterate them because this is what worked for me and what I believe is just a universal resolution Unless of course you're allergic to a certain food or product or chemical that you are using regularly this is something that would apply to anyone so hopefully if you're a teenager or anyone suffering you won't wait you know six or seven years the way I did to actually find this solution so first thing I will talk about is the number one product it's a natural oil it's tea tree oil so I've mentioned this in previous videos but I have about seven products that I rotate between that contain this so one of them is very, very affordable, perfect for teen skin, and this is the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel collection. So I've got four products from them. First one is a night treatment gel. It's almost done, but this is obviously a very light gel, so you can layer it underneath a face oil or a uh, more hydrating face cream if you have dry skin. But I think as a preliminary base on your skin, day and night, it's really good to use. doesn't clog pores, and obviously the tea tree and witch hazel ingredients add a bit of a revive your skin, keep it clear, kind of soothe any breakouts if that makes sense. So that's what I found using it regularly, really really did kind of heal my skin and then to go with that I haven't used this yet but it's the foaming face wash so when I'm in the shower oftentimes I will just like to rather than cleanse I will just use a face wash and this is a little bit drying obviously because the oils kind of strip out the kind of blemishes and everything from your skin but it says it cleanses and refreshes and keeps skin clear so it will draw out imperfections and because it's just a face wash it's a little bit more delicate on the skin and then to go with that, something that I will use kind of intermittently in my routine is the Cleansing and Toning Lotion from the same collection. So this one is more just so in the morning or in the evening. You don't want to oversaturate your skin with this product, any kind of oil. You do want to use like maybe maximum once a day because honestly, if every single product you're using contains tea tree or witch hazel, it's just going to really strip your skin and make it more sensitive because you're just overloading it with that one product. And I would use this maybe once a week, 
alongside a face mask. It's an exfoliating face scrub. So this, this, this has those exfoliating beads, of course, but it's a lot lighter, more gentle. I found that it really didn't irritate my skin because I have sensitive cheeks, a little bit of rosacea, and it didn't really do anything. So yeah, even though my skin's a combination, these products all work really well in conjunction with everything else I'm using. Now something else, because I ran out of those products recently, I was um, actually using Body Shop products. This is one of the best products I've ever used. It's what I started with last November, so nearly six months ago, and honestly, it's um, kind of revolutionized my skincare routine. It's the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Daily Solution. And this one is kind of just, it has a dropper, so you just apply, you know, a few drops over your face, you can pat it in, and I've shown it in a few of my skincare routine videos, and it works amazingly. It's kind of, it's like 80% tea tree oil, so a very, very natural, kind of organic, yeah, natural product for your skin, so it shouldn't irritate your skin at all. Just found that it works really well. You can read up on everything that's been reviewed about that product. And then I also have something else from this collection. Haven't tried it, but it was highly reviewed and I had a 40% discount code. So it was the Tea Tree Skin Clearing Mattifying Toner that I recently bought. And again, just from their Tea Tree range. I love it, it's from the, not that this matters, but it's from the foothills of Mount Kenya. So it's again, more of a fair trade, organic, natural type of product for your skin. Just to take a few notes of tea tree oil use, you do want to be careful. Like I said, don't overload your skin with every single product based on this, just because you want to get rid of your acne. It is a slow, gradual process. Just incorporate these products into your routine and you'll see your skin is starting to clear up, be more calm and any breakouts are really, really minimized, honestly. I just found that it's something my skin reacts to really well, and yeah, I had pretty bad skin, so I can really vouch for the product. Just don't oversaturate your skin, which I keep saying, but it is important because it can kind of strip the protection of your skin, make you more sensitive to the sun. You wanna be loading up with SPF, just to make sure you don't do any damage to your skin. Having said that, it is good for summertime if you're sunburnt. That mixing with a bit of a lower vera will really minimize and soothe your skin. It's been proven to work against sunburn and kind of prevent like really bad sunburn or peeling, that sort of thing. And it just gets rid of bacteria and cleanses your skin. One last similar skincare oil that I like to incorporate, this is Witch Hazel Oil. Another great oil you may have heard of, it's incorporated in those Boots products I just mentioned. And this is 100% organic natural witch hazel and it's from the brand Naissance. I actually picked this up off Amazon, but I'm not sure where else you can buy it. There may be some health stores or something, but I would recommend just getting 100% natural, ideally fair trade and organic witch hazel oil. Definitely a lot more gentle than using one of the drugstore um, acne gels. I've also read that it's just really good for keeping very smooth, uh, supple skin. So for varicose veins, sunburn, any kind of imperfections you've uh, develop temporarily on your skin. You can apply this gently a little bit every morning and every night and it should eventually minimize those. The final product I have to show you guys is rosehip oil. This one is 100% organic and it's from Botanics, which is a boots brand. So because it's organic, it's just a lot more natural, better for your skin. You're not putting nasty chemicals on. And rosehip has just so many amazing benefits. And I have oily skin and I used to have a lot of bad acne. So don't be scared that I'm recommending an oil because honestly, there's just a lot of research into it and I can't really cover it myself, so you can do more research to see if your skin type is appropriate for this oil, but there are basically so many oils to choose from. There will definitely be at least one that works well with your skin type. So I use this in the evenings because obviously an oil in the morning might be too heavy uh, to put makeup over, so I just pat this on like five, maybe six drops all over my face, my lips, just soak my skin in it before bed, and my skin looks really soft the next morning, so I'm planning on reviewing this on my blog, so stay tuned for that for a more in-depth view. But rosehip, let me just tell you the benefits of those as well. So it again, prevents the clogging of pores. It's just a very light, delicate oil. Rosehip is obviously just gentle, as the name would suggest, and it's just good for preventing acne, soothing acne when you have uneven skin tone. I found that it's really, really on my jawline, just gotten rid of all those acne blemishes uh, over the past few months that I've been using it. It's also been proven to help with collagen, so just boosting your skin, making it look really plump and youthful, and I think rosehip is actually a 
ingredient that Miranda Kerr uses in a lot of her products and she has amazing skin, I mean she's a supermodel so I would definitely take her advice and it's also something that my mum has recommended, she's like really good with skincare as well, always telling me what works with acne so yeah maybe speak to your mum or an older sister or something, they always seem to have good skincare advice. One last thing that you really need to recommend apart from drinking water which of course I think any girl that is having or guy who's having skincare issues really is not drinking enough water, I know that was my issue, I'm getting a lot better, I always have about a litre to a two litre bottle of water on me and I try and aim to get through through that entire bottle before the end of the day and then in the, in the evening I'll have about three more glasses of water so I'm getting closer to having my two litres of water and you can also just increase your intake of fruit and veg which has a high water content anyway so you'll be still hydrating your body and in my opinion that seems to just really flush out toxins and And apparently there is also research into green tea that has proven it reduces redness and is anti-inflammatory which is of course really great and preventing just that really nasty ugly pimples that come out sometimes especially around hormonal times when you're getting your period that sort of thing it will really help my favorite is actually matcha green tea so that again has its own benefits I don't want to go into that in this video because it'll be about 20 minutes long but it's a really really good alternative to just plain green tea so just incorporating all these things into my routine has just really, like like I said, revolutionized my skincare routine and as you can see, my skin's a lot clearer, I don't even have to wear concealer anymore. I hope you guys learned something, hopefully you were already using some of these, but if you didn't, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more skincare videos and tips, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!